Hello everyone again. I am back in person. Did you miss me? I miss you all. Well, today we're talking more in depth about International Lipstick Day. This is a day to just celebrate yourself and look as beautiful as you can. Even experiment if you would like in different colors of lipstick, textures, and even the products. So have lots of fun. There are so many choices out there from different manufacturers, different stores, different brands. You can go anywhere from high-end Yves Saint Laurent all the way to drugstore makeup. There's so many options and we all deserve to feel beautiful and wonderful and desirable. So we are going to just jump right into this video. This first part of the video is for the consumer. In particular, the consumer that may have some physical challenges to makeup. So I would just like to definitely encourage you all to please explore different options in terms of lipstick, that's what we're talking about, but really makeup in general. Just explore those different options. There are different packaging for lipsticks, even though the standard package is really a tube. And let me show you. So something like this. This is actually a Revlon product, and this is just a standard tube of lipstick, and I'm gonna demonstrate how you would use it, or really just to get to the actual product, which is what we want. So this is the, like the tube where lipstick will come out, and this is the base of the tube. So you have to be able to pull this uh, initial tubing off like this there was actually a little click so now the product is exposed and you also have to be able to turn it so I am going to turn it in the right direction I'm actually going clockwise turning this gold part which is the uh, actual part of the tubing that holds the lipstick so I'm turning it in a direction towards me and as you can see, the product is coming out. So now here's the product and you can begin being that inner makeup artist in putting it on like this. So that's how I kind of stabilize my hands. I use two hands to actually put the product on, on my mouth and my lips. So that's how I do it. And as my mother said, some of the best part of art is the cleanup. So I'm actually going to show you how to retract the product to close it. So I'm actually just turning the this part that encloses the actual lipstick. I'm turning it in the opposite direction to I can get it right in the opposite direction to get the product back inside of the tubing. So I'm just turning it, turning it. And it does take hand strength and hand coordination. So now there's no more product sticking out. So now the tube can go, or the covering can go on it, like this. And now I'm actually gonna set the product, this is a table right here, and it pops back on. Hear that click? There we go. So now it's back to its original packaging so it can stay nice and sealed and fresh for the next wonderful usage. So this type of lipstick product is, is one type of lipstick product in, in this tubing. But there are so many other options that you can explore. Just one more option that I personally have in my collection is a lip pencil. And please, ladies and gentlemen, do not ignore or demean these products. Some of these products are very pigmented, so they can actually go on the lip and actually be stained like a lipstick. And it's a lot more simple and it's like a pencil type of product and I'm going to show you. So again, this is a product or a lip pencil. This is actually from MAC called Ruby Woo. It's like an iconic lip color, red color, coloring of a pencil. So 
here is the pencil itself. This is the packaging, if you will, the pencil and the actual points is inside of this uh, covering. So all you have to do, if you're able, is just pull it off. And there it is, there's the product. And you can just utilize this product. And this is actually, a very, again, a very pigmented color that can actually be used as a lipstick or lip stain so that's another option and again you can always follow up with a representative in a drugstore or some of the major uh, chains of products like Sephora or MAC and they can maybe help you pick out a more pigmented product that you may not need the tubing if you're unable to use it and there are several other forms of, of lipstick including liquid lipstick and actual powder lipstick so the choice is yours the sky is the limit and please i strongly encourage you to experiment and find what what you're looking for what enhances your aesthetic and that's one of the most important things again because we all should feel as beautiful as we would like to and i'm going to make a separate video but i would just like to touch on this very briefly about using those base products to get an aesthetic you would like. I'm gonna give you an example. So if you wanted a matte look, there are DIY videos you can look at to make a general product more of a certain type of aesthetic. Like if I recall correctly, I believe just putting some powder on the lip or powder on the, like a general standard product can have a matte finish or effect. But again, I am going to say this many times throughout this video, but I'm not a professional makeup artist, so please follow up with some of those professionals to try and get those DIY looks. And if you, so I brought that up as an example because if you have a powder, you can easily do it yourself and again, have that accessibility for you. This part of the video is actually for the makeup industry itself, the manufacturers, the brands and everyone in between the developers and in terms of the actual product the formulations this is just a request really a plea if you will to please think about those that may have those that may have certain uh, physical challenges and think about the accessibility of products I recall I had a product before that I believe was an Yves Saint Laurent product it was a lipstick and it was a push button or more like a pop-up so all almost like if you remember in the 90s they had those like pop-up <laughs> uh candies it was like you click a button and it was actually the product could come out so the twisting wasn't necessary and that was really helpful so that's something to think about I know that recently the actress Selma Blair came out and said she was gonna start uh, being a uh, helping to develop accessible products for certain brands so look out for that so appreciative and thankful for that those with the power like celebrities are using that power and uh, that influence if you will to make things more to bring accessibility to the to the different uh, forefront and uh, pushing for more accessibility in various aspects of life and it's just, in this instance the makeup industry so I'm so appreciative and looking forward to seeing what uh, what product she comes out with and lastly this part of the video is for the makeup artists in particular the influencers gurus if you will uh, when you're filming videos or giving that advice if you could please showcase how the products are opened and even closed. I've noticed oftentimes many makeup artists show products like the application of the products that's their starting point where there's a lot of prep that's not done on camera and if it were done on camera it would allow us consumers if you will to see how the products are open how they're closed and you know what would be involved in that because it's it's really important especially to those that may have those physical limitations 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are pretty much at the end of the video. I'm trying to keep my videos a lot shorter. Still sweet, but a lot shorter. So, thank you so much for watching. And actually, I did want to say that there is a huge history of makeup if you're a makeup geek or interested in that type of information. So, you can definitely look that up. Makeup has come a long way, all the way from just being villainized as something for actors and actresses, something for the stage, all the way to now being acceptable in the classroom, boardroom, etc, etc. So, and everywhere in between. At one point it was uh, a point of privilege and there was certain demographics of people that were denied access to makeup, so I would just like to take this time to celebrate the makers and manufacturers and brands like Rihanna and Fenty for making inclusive products for various skin tones and shades. Again, because we all deserve to feel beautiful, every shape, size, color, and accessibility level as well. We all deserve to feel beautiful. And if you are a lover of a person in lipstick, this is the time to give that wonderful compliment. Well, this is the end of the video and I'm gonna seal it with a kiss as my four mothers and fathers have done. Thank you. Goodbye.